Yo, what is good people? Ben from Lover of Tech. We're back here for another unboxing. This time it's something ever so slightly different. It's this from Ben Q. So, shout out to Ben Q, they sent this over. Um, caught my interest enough. I've seen a couple of people actually unbox, review this and give impressions on it. And this is their screen bar monitor light. Apparently uh, the world's first monitor light lamp. So, Interesting enough, I thought, you know what, let me actually unbox this, set this up, give my initial impression, initial impression on it and actually see how it's like. So we're going to unbox it, we'll go through some of the details and the stats about it. Yeah, this is the BenQ Screen Bar Monitor Lite. See again, shout out to BenQ for sending this over. This is not sponsored or anything, it's just literally a send it over and um, I thought, yeah, let me actually check this out and set it up but actually before we unbox it let's look around the box it's the package in here switch into the top so we've got some stuff here insert the screen so you've got some instructions here so what we have is insert the screen bar lamp into the clip there's a clip in there extend the um, counterweight number two extend, extend the counterweight and the rest of the clip on the top of monitor for optimal performance ensure that the mounting arm is uh, perpendicular to the monitor cool, cool 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 showing you some nice graphics and um things there it says plug in the type c connector okay that's good so it's powered over usb type c and then you've got a type a but if you've got another type c to type c cable i'm sure it'll work um into the computer <laughs> and i spot computers um, weirdly enough um if you have a phone charger or power bank or use um the output's five volts and you need at least one amp okay cool only use the provider usb cable for the power lamp uh use of an extension usb can result in my functions okay let's point it out there um cool let's unbox it so this is meant to be a monitor lamp and what it should do is really aid in eye fatigue so let's unbox this because if you're a person like myself and especially a lot of us who work from home now you know, you spend a lot of time in front of the computer. And um, this is meant to help manage eye strain. Uh, so, okay. Let's put this here. And what do we have? We've got... Doesn't look like instructions, but um, yeah. What this will most likely be is an unboxing and a setup video. So, Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is the um, monitor lamp itself. Interesting. So it gives you instructions or actually like a diagram of the things that comes in. So you've got the USB power cable, you've got the clamp, you've got the, um, what do you call it? The lamp. It tells you the USB-C socket, the power, the auto dimmer, the light sensor. So it's got auto dimming technology as well. So it's able to, somehow look at the ambient light around you in that sense i do like this though i think this is actually really well packaged in that sense in my personal opinion and already just based on wow there's weight to this there is some weight to this interesting and you've got the usb-c cable is there there's anything else no nope. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And I think in terms of the unboxing, that's it. That's actually really interesting. Let's get the USB-C cable. All right, it's got a nice rubber band on there for packaging, good. Put this to the side. But yeah, this clamp has got some weight to it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's heavy, it's heavy. That is the light monitor itself. Very nice, very interesting. And you've got the USB-C connector there. And yeah, okay. USB-C to USB-A cable. I recommend you use it. Oh, this, this clamp, my goodness. It's a tank. It is a tank. Definitely feels heavy. So this is just a quick unboxing of it. We're gonna do a setup section and pretty much um, 
get that put together. So yeah, this is the light mono from BenQ. We'll get this set up and we'll just see how it looks. So yeah, this is the BenQ screen bar and BenQ are stating this to be the first monitor light in the world. And as you've seen with what I did with the unboxing, it does have a built-in light sensor that does detect the ambient light and then pretty much just auto dims and just applies the correct luminance around automatically to around 500 lux which is the light level that's as they say recommended by the american national standard practice of office lighting whatever that means um the clamp itself so it's got weight to it and they're saying it's a painted clamp attaches to any monitor with different thickness and curvatures and as it's the most far compatible design for any monitor light on the market as they're saying Unique lighting, it's asymmetrical optical design, ensures zero reflective glare off the screen, no reflection, only precision lighting as it say. And in terms of the color temperature as well, it does have different color temperatures that are in there. And it's really more tailored to different lighting situations that really just satisfy your mood. That's kind of the key mentions. I'm gonna pretty much look at the experience of it. Now setting it up, in terms of you know getting it in there and whatnot it's actually really simple and easy i do love the fact that it's powered by usb-c and um yeah literally the cable that comes in is what they recommend that you should use and you pretty much plug it into one of your usb hubs that gives it enough power or power bank and it should pretty much do what it needs to do it's pretty good you've got about um 10 degrees of rotation once it's in there because of the usb-c cable at the back it's good i like it there is one issue one main issue that i have with it though that you just have to consider if you are using a webcam on top of your monitor so i have a 27 inch lg you know non-curved flat display monitor if you're using a webcam at the top it's going to block it the webcam is going to be near enough useless so that's just something to consider another thing i have a potential issue is when you're using it at nighttime without a light being on, it's only the auto dimming button that has some form of light illumin illumination on there um, and it's green. The rest don't have any illumination, so it's hard to see the buttons. And because it's touch sensitive and it's not tactile, it's hard to see the buttons. Again, the brightness, the manual brightness adjuster, I wish there was a way to see the different gradients of brightness that you're going through, you know, or potentially two buttons for dimming and increasing. It just circles through it and it's hard to gauge which brightness level you're at as you're going through. It's good that you've got manual color temperatures that you can actually go through from warmer to cooler and all the different um, Kelvin spectrums that you've got on there. Um, the ambient light sensor pretty much does what it needs to do. It actually works pretty well. I overall do like it for £90 or £89.99. I'm not entirely sure, but I do like it. It saves me from having my main light on at night time. And if you're someone that doesn't have a keep that has a keyboard that does not have backlighting, it does really good for it. So that's kind of like my unboxing impressions mini review of the BenQ um, light monitor. So the screen bar light monitor, and it's good. It's good. I don't mind it at all is decent and yeah it pretty much does what it needs to do most of the time we're at home we are working you know from home and in terms of just having something that's meant to help with your eye strain and having a much more elegant solution rather than a table lamp that's definitely something to consider just be warned that if you are using a webcam yeah it's going to be pretty much redundant and useless that is it. Those are my unboxings and impressions of the BenQ screen bar monitor light. Um, if you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS Tech Level Squad so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.